to my channel today I'm getting ready for family pictures and I figured that I would film what I'm doing and also I bought a bunch of new makeup at Walmart um, yesterday so I want to try that out for y'all too I just not all of this is like new stuff um, it's new to me most of it but just things I saw and wanted to try out so what we have and it's not a full face but pretty close um, I don't think I got any brow products so first I'm gonna go in with these booster hydrating yeah so first I'm gonna go in with these booster drops they are hydrating they're from elf probably a terrible idea to be trying new products on the day that we're taking family pictures, but oh well, we'll make it work. Oh, that was a different consistency, but I guess my skin does feel pretty hydrated. I don't know, I feel like it still feels pretty dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my forehead don't think I am going to add it in the foundation. I'm just too scared that that would really mess it up. I'll have to try that next time. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of the Poreless Putty Primer in my T-Zone. This stuff is really good if you've never used it. Okay, I'm going to start out with brows and probably not really going to talk through this. I am going to use my bh cosmetics palette which i've talked about before it's powders and i don't think that it's available to purchase um but really any brow powder would work or even if you have an eyeshadow that's pretty close to your brow color I don't know if I already said I meant to say, but I don't know if I did. Um, some of the products that I bought, I have used, but it's been so long that I feel like it's going to be uh, first impressions all over again because I don't even remember. Now I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush and clean up my eyebrows so today I'm going to be using the instant age rewind concealer by Maybelline and this one is in the shade ivory I know y'all know what this is and I know you've used it it's I feel like an oldie but a, but a goodie I haven't used it in years but we're going to use it today because I just always see people talking about it and I'm really trying to like branch out and use different stuff not use the same thing all the time because I'm so bad about that. But I'm telling y'all the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, it's so good and with the way my eyes are so dark right now, it just covers better than anything. I just worked a little bit onto the back of my hand and onto the brush. is probably going to be entirely too light under my eyes. I'll probably have to mix it, but let's move on to eyeshadow. And I have this e.l.f. The New Classics palette. This is not new. I looked it up and it's pretty old actually, I think. At least a year old, but I've never seen it before. Look 
at all the pretty shades. Like, I feel like this is a really good palette that gives you a good variety. Um, I'm going to dip into Truffle first. And I'm just going to be doing something pretty simple and soft today. Like I said, we do have family pictures. And I'm not trying to look crazy. Wow, that looks really pretty. And blended really well. It's a really light crease shade, but I just built it up right there and wow. Some of these drugstore eyeshadows really just like <laughs> amaze me at their quality and price. I think this is $14 and there are 18 shades in here. And a good mixture of mattes and shimmers. Okay, I'm going to take the next shade over called Darling. It's just a little bit deeper. Taking it lower. Focusing more on the outer corner. But dragging it in just a little. Y'all, I really like this so far. I'm going to go back in with that first brush and blend the edges out, which the first brush that I used was the Essence Eye Blender brush. Y'all know this is super cheap, but like one of my faves. And then the smaller brush I'm using is the Morphe M433 with the shade Darling. Now I'm going to take the same Morphe brush, go into the shade Muse. And I'm being really careful just to get this on the very tip of the brush. And putting it even lower on that outer corner. Honestly, I'm barely dipping in and I'm getting so much pigment, but not in a bad way. Like it still blends really well. I'm going to take something even smaller. This is a Morphe M321 brush. It's just kind of like a little pencil brush, but kind of fluffy. I'm going to take Noir. However you say that. And pretty much press, press it into my lash line. But blend it up just a little bit. Just to deepen it up even further. Okay, I'm going to stop there for now and go back in with my concealer brush and what is left on the back of my hand, which is a very small amount, not as much as I used when I cleaned my brows up. And I'm going to be very careful with this, but I'm just going to kind of define my lid. brighten it up and give a little bit of a blank canvas so that I can take in this rounded elf eyeshadow C brush now to kind of push that into the skin and blend this corner. But yeah, this is going to brighten your lid up and make the perfect canvas to add like a shimmer or even just to set it with a matte like nude skin tone shade. I'm going to take my essence brush again. Kind of blend over those edges. Okay, I've got to switch my battery out. Hold on. Okay, I'm sure the angle changed a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to take this little flat brush. It's a fluffy brush, but it is flat. Spray that. And let's see here. 
I'm gonna take the shade Beloved. And that's a little bit pinky or peachy for me. So I'm gonna take the shade Glamour and go over top. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M433 and I'm gonna take the Darling shade which was the second one that we used and just kind of blend it into that shade, that shimmer shade. Now I'm going to go back in with Muse, which is the deep brown. Re-intensify that. I know there's harsh lines. Um, and back in with the black shade too at my lash line. Okay, now I'm going to take my essence brush and blend those edges out. Take in a little bit more of Truffle and Darling just to make sure, to really make sure that it is seamless. I'm really nervous about this, but I got some magnetic lashes to try. I've never used any before, so like I said, I am nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Everybody always asks me, all my clients will ask me about magnetic lashes, and honestly, like I said, I've never used them. So we're going to find out today. These are the Ardell Wispies. And they're the kind with the liner, so it's not the two pieces. I'm going to use the brush that it came with, and I'm going to turn some music on, and I'm going to try to relax and do this. I want a very, very thin line because I wouldn't even be wearing eyeliner if it wasn't for needing it for this purpose. Hopefully they are on good. It wasn't too hard. Just kind of a learning curve. Um, you definitely want to make sure you put enough of the liner on. Which I think was my problem at first. I was trying not to do a lot of liner because I don't really love liner. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. What it looks like. I love the packaging. Let's go in with foundation. The foundation I got is the Maybelline 24 Hour. I have used this before, but it's been a long time. So I have this in the shade Light Beige. I think I'm going to use a brush. Let's see, I'm going to use the Powder Blurring Brush by e.l.f. And I'll blend it out with a sponge. I hope this shade matches me. We'll just have to make it work. Open eye Through the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight I was just like half a pump and I was able to do half my face. Chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping. Hopefully this works out for me. You 
using this light of a foundation shade or a concealer shade with my foundation. Not a huge fan. This is still showing my darkness. Also seems to be irritating my skin under my eyes. Before my camera cut off, I was saying that this is why I'm not always the most willing to try new products. All right, next I got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick. So I'm just gonna use the contour end and we're gonna try to do some cream contouring. I'm gonna start small and see how this goes. I'm a little nervous. Pick it up just on my brush. Okay, I did not like that. Okay, another product I have not used in forever is this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and it is in the shade 001 Transparent. I'm going to use my small Real, Tex Real Techniques brush to pick this up. Change my mind. I'm going to take my big brush. I just set my skin and I forgot I had this cream blush that I really wanted to try. I'll have to do that another day. I don't have any contour products to try so I'm just going to use what I already have which I'm going in with my butter bronzer first on my e.l.f. complexion brush. Now I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer on a smaller brush. Back with my complexion brush and my Milani blush in the shade Dolce Pink. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel and set my brows. Okay, I'm excited about this e.l.f. powder brush because this looks like my favorite highlighter brush that I use but I can't ever find it online. It is old. So I'm gonna try it out for y'all and if I like it, then you should definitely go get it because like I said, the one from Ulta that looks like this is my favorite. This is a hard candy rose gold highlighter. A little nervous about this, not gonna lie. This 
is so intense. I'm gonna get a smaller brush and put this on my inner corner because Again, my ColourPop E9 and the shade Truffle, which is that first shade we used. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Darling. And now I'm going to take a smaller, more precise brush and Muse, which was the dark brown shade. This is just a clean blending brush. So I think I'm gonna have to apply more glue, which is really annoying because I feel like, or not glue, but liner because I feel like I've already put so much. It's not wanting to stick. And I think the last thing I have to try is this Burt's Bees lip gloss in the shade Sparkling Cider. Just kind of like a nude color. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is use my ColourPop lippy stick in the shade BFF, which is my favorite. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my Maybelline lipstick in the shade Nude Lust. It's 920 is the number. These Maybelline lipsticks are some of my favorite because they're just so comfortable. It's almost like just wearing a chapstick. And then I'm going to take my lip gloss over top. Now I'm going to spray this Wet n Wild setting spray. And I'm going to make sure all this is melted into my skin. Alright, I'm going to go finish my hair and get dressed and then I'll come back and show what kind of like the final result. Okay, y'all, this is the final result. I really like the way that it turned out. I can't believe I decided to try all this new stuff the day of family pictures. <laughs> but I really like that the I really like the way it turned out. Really like all the products that I used. Um, I will leave them all linked down below in case you're interested. I really like this eyeshadow. Um, and the lashes are not bad either. Like I can feel them a little bit on my inner corner. I just feel like that's the way my eyes are. It always kind of like bothers me on my inner corner or I can feel that they're there more. Um, but it's a lot more comfortable than glue. So honestly, if they work out well throughout the day, then I will definitely be using them again. Um, I will update y'all. If I don't update in a clip, I'll update down below on how they worked out. And yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see y'all in my next video.